Hello folks, welcome to Ultra Zero Gaming, I'm Ultra Zero, and you're in the Ultra Nation. Um, the last time I recorded a video, it turns out I didn't adjust my, uh, in-game audio, so I could not be heard at all playing the game. So, we're going to, uh, be playing as an alien, starting out. Oh, well, there'll be another episode uploaded today to make up for the lack of episode that I had to delete, but that's okay. So let's get into this. Um, at the end of, my, I plan on doing a video eventually with my, uh, my, my buddy, uh, Clockwork Knox gameplay. It might have, name might have changed. I don't know if he changed it yet. He said he might change the name of his channel, but. Here we go into the the game. Let's see here. We do it on play this on easy only because I have yet to get used to all the controls. Sir, we're ready to begin. How old do you think it is? Ten thousand. I don't know. Like seven thousand years old. It looks like it's in a Mayan temple. Mister Wayland. Apocalypse Day, maybe. Yes. I don't know. Begin the breaching procedure. Oh, he wants to begin the breaching procedure. That's fun. Usually when you see a big door in some sort of old ancient temple, the last thing you want to do is open it. Even if there's treasure inside, because usually that means there's a monster. This is normally the scene in like animes like Dragon Ball where the villain gets annihilated. In every anime I see, something that happens like that, that big tower of light, usually means someone dies. They die a lot. And I mean a lot. Oh, look, you get a little, uh, little information. Hey, look, it's Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. I have subtitles on just in case you can't hear the audio. I may I imagine it's Ben, but you never know. Please! Somebody! Help me! They're harvesting xenomorphs. If anyone who doesn't know what a xenomorph is, that's the name for the aliens from the alien series. This is this video is definitely not for the faint of heart or very squeamish individuals. That's the last of them. Commencing specimen retrieval. I'll specimen retrieval you. What happened to specimen six? It's gone. In the words of that one guy from the Jurassic Park movie, Get back! Clever girl. Are you guys? Are you sure it's a girl? Yes. 90% of the xenomorph species are female because they need, if the queen, something happens to her, they need to replace her. Like an ant colony. You have a no, lot Dr. of female Rose, workers I to replace the queen. I like this one. Oh, hey, it's that asshole. Send in the combat androids. You send in the combat androids. Mark it up for the program.
and that doctor's smile just screams mud pie to me. Ooh, that hurts. You mean friend me like cattle? Why did you like cattle? Two humans are the xenomorphs, cattle. I'm very lucky that I'm locked in these in these bonds. Number six. I remember this one. Mr. Whalen thinks there might be something special about it. Let's see if he's right. Basic responses first. Simply orient your head in the direction indicated. Hey, look, see? it's your finger that I'm going to bite Watch off track later. My hand. Oh, with your whole hand. Obedient. Very good. On to the next Should test. Should you obedient if only obedient to my queen? Human. <laughs> Forever. You are participating in vital research, my friend. You're participating in vital research. Groves? What is this? What? Yes. An easy kill. Unmatched hostility. Unclouded by remorse. Mr. Wayland may have been correct about you. You wonder what's correct? In fact, they would eat your this face. Is interesting. A new stratagem. Amazing. Turn out all the light. No, my sense is alive. I can barely bad, see you, bad, Six. Bad. If I didn't know you were there, bring me another test subject. As long as I get paid, right? Yeah, you know what you get paid in? Death! It's pretty dark in here. Can I get a flashlight? You just want me to fix the lights? A structurally perfect organism, no question. Send in another test subject. Of course I'm perfect. Um, I'm always perfect. This should be more of a challenge for you, Six. Strongest one smells. What well, seems to be the problem? What happened to the light? Caution, Six. A strong indicator of intelligence. But how do you know of the threat? <laughs> Mr. Wayland wants light. Very good. That's enough for today, I think. Now, only I can find a way out of here. No, Hearing you're trying to escape. Gas it. Gas you. Some beach gas me.
I'll get out of here. And when I do, I'm gonna eat your face. Impressive, Six. Most impressive. Escape is not an option for you, however. We'll see about that. Please. If I wasn't in these bars, I'd again. eat your face right now. What's happening? Wayland's finally going to do it. Hey, look at that asshole again. Excuse me. The restraints. The xenomorph. Matriarch's holding facility. Get me security. This is way out of my pay grade. No. <laughs> fucking what? It's a fucking Xeno. <laughs> Uh, 
and just like that, we freed the queen. I was about to go xenomorphs. Well, that's it for this episode. We'll see you guys next time. Till then, have an amazing evening and a wonderful 4th of July.